even with that, like, you know, I don't know how y'all's 23 looked like, but 23 was a year. It's funny because I, the, when I, th- I was thinking about what I was like, I was like, man, what are we going to even talk about today? And I was like, man, the first thing that came to my mind was throw the whole year away. <laughs> do y'all, do y'all feel that way? Echo or? that sentiment? I mean, how, how do y'all feel about when people say throw the whole year away? Like, what does that even mean? I like, can't throw my whole 20, 23 away. But that first half, she can go. <laughs> <laughs> she can definitely go. Um, personal, like my personal life was not like how I wanted it at all. I was coming out of a relationship that I wanted like really, really bad. Like mm. real bad. And then it was like after, I, as soon as my birthday hit, like I want to say like five days later, it just clicked. Like, girl, what did you? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Let go. Let God stop. All that stress and the crying, being obsessed over nothing. Leave it, leave it alone. And then as much as I'm sounding like really strong about it, it then took some more months to really like, I had to keep reminding Ooh, yeah, myself. Yeah, hammer that. Hammer <laughs> yeah. I had to keep reminding myself like, okay, no, let that go. And the weird thing is I have noticed that like, like when my personal life is like, it's shit, right? Mm. My work life, Pretty do okay. It, it, it does okay. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell and I'm you. just waiting for it to like match up. Like, please. Can I get Don't have home girls told me not, all, not everything's going to be running in sync. Mm-hmm. If it's not one, it's something. If it's not this, it's... So, so when you said, I was like, I hope this didn't affect her work life. And you were like, <laughs> nope, it didn't affect my... I said, of course it didn't. It didn't affect my work life at all. I did a great... Like, work was good. Okay, so I'm a teacher. Um, oh, great. And a cheer coach. I am, I've moved up to high school. Good. I'm not staying there, though, for, for mm-hmm. countless reasons. But the high school <laughs> itself, not bad. If anybody wants to teach high school, go ahead and try it. Uh, but I'm going back down to the middle school level. Uh, I was teaching middle school for five years. Girl, middle school is a bunch of grade. musty uh, fifth graders. Huh? Huh? <laughs> middle school is a musty fifth graders, but okay. <laughs> they weren't? Okay. Ooh, one of my coworkers had a really musty fifth grader, but I'm going to shut up. It's, it's not, yeah, it's not about that. But my know. favorite grade was the eighth grade. Like, they were young enough to still be children, but then slightly mature, like, in the high school realm. So I kind of liked them. I liked them. Um, I was also a cheer coach there. I did really well with that cheer team. And then I moved up to high school. I'm like, you know, assisting with that cheer team. But and just everything looked good. Everything looked good. But at home? <laughs> mm-mm. 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 And that was, that was literally from January 1st to, I want to say, July. I was hoping it was going to mm. stop in June. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, like, the end of June... The end of June is when I was officially like, no, I'm I'm not like, I'm not stressing no more. I, it's either it worked for me or it don't with these men <laughs> at this point. Either it <laughs> worked or it don't. I'm leaving it alone. Okay. Because when I put like a lot into it and I was really like, it all went to hell. Okay. I want the shit. And it's cool. It's cool. I can smile about it now. I laugh about it now. It is what it is now. It is what it is now. But that first half of 2023, mentally, emotionally, can go. Mm-hmm. About a car, though. Work hey, was good. good. <laughs> Work was good. Okay. About a car. Work was good. But the rest of it can go to hell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and that's real. That's, mm-hmm. I, 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 no, that's real. Mm-hmm. That's real. I I, I ask that because I feel like um, I don't think um, we like. I always hear the term "man throw the whole year away." You know, especially when whenever it's like the last quarter of the year, you see all these memes going about the new year. Talking about some throw it away. What's the 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 girl that be going that up the steps? That's one of them serious. The, the, the girl that be going up the steps. I can't wait to see her where she, where she <laughs> Like, I see so many, like, memes of her, and I'm just like, especially when it's about to be a new year. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, nobody wants to talk about, and and I, maybe this would be a challenge for y'all, but nobody wants to talk about how, um, honestly, when you want to throw the year, the whole year away, you have to remember, what did you pray for? What did you ask for in the year before? Like, because here's the thing. I mm-hmm. asked you that because, like, you know, you can be like, oh, I want financial freedom. And then you have no bread in the next, like, month, the next two months. It's always going to be the opposite of stuff that you ask for. But, like, why is it that, you know, why... I understand why people want to throw the whole uh, year away. I don't have a... I don't... I don't have an issue with you saying that, but I also need us to remember what did we pray for? 
Uh, we need to do a, did it give us a uh, we need to do a character evaluation as well mm-hmm. because sometimes them, those years are exactly what we needed to remove those layers and th- that that character that we had. Sometimes we had character flaws. I mean, I don't know how y'all feel about no, that. No, I completely mm-hmm. agree with the, char- uh, the character part. There were a lot of things that I had to grow out of this year as well. No, you didn't even know you had to grow that, out of it. I had no idea. Facts. I have no idea. And I'm still growing out of it. I still think about it like to this day. Um, and when I'm interacting with like just various people, just all the stuff that I used to go through now, I mean, before, I'll like check myself on. So just, you know... Make sure I'm, I'm saying the right things, doing the right things, and of course, presenting the best part of myself to, to everybody and also being authentic with it. So mm. it was, it definitely, um, I can't remember like what all I prayed for before because I'm not as strong in my prayer, so but I do know I'll be doing it. Yeah. Some of I us need to look it. back at what we prayed for mm-hmm. and why our year is going the way it is. Not saying because your year is bad that you did not pray for good things. That's mm-hmm. not what I'm saying. But it's just what from what I see, at least based on my year, I'm I, speaking for myself, um, based on my year, um, so many things. My, first of all, 2022 and 23 is like black and white. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's totally black and white. It's two different scenarios because, <laughs> like I said, y'all, my whole career had shifted. It, a total pivot from work to finances to just life in general. And, and it's new. It is, it is very, very new. So I had to ask myself, well, what did I ask for? What did I pray for that is... Manifesting in this way. Mm-hmm. Manifesting it this way, in a way that I didn't want. Because typically people say, throw the whole year away because they were disappointed. Because they didn't get what they want. But I mean, or they, it, yeah, it didn't pretty much go the way that they wanted. 